Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of the month, so you Unreal Engine developers know exactly what that means. It is time for Unreal Christmas in August. First Tuesday of every month, uh, Epic Games gives away a number of free assets. Uh, this month is no exception. We've got five in the free for the month and one in the permanently free collection. As long as you air quotes buy them before the first Tuesday of the next month, they are yours free forever. And we're just going to jump in hands-on with all of the assets today. We're going to start off with Big Office. So this one is... Well, it is a big office. <laughs> it's a very well-named uh, asset on the whole. I actually like this guy just on the level that uh, I would love to work in this office. There's uh, there's a lot going on in this office. Here's where all of the uh, all the people with more money work. Uh, over here, we got a number of dual monitor setups. There, there's actually a ton in this place. So you got you know a break room area. Um, it actually gets kind of obscene. We've got some pizza here. Let's put it this way. This this place loves their employees much more than anywhere that I have ever worked because I have never had a ping pong table and a billiards table uh, and two foosball tables uh, at uh, my office place. But everything you see here uh, to go together to create a modern hipster office environment uh, is included. There is a ton of content here. This office actually just kind of keeps going and going and going. They've even got this palatial terrace going on over here. And I think there might even be a second floor. Uh, so it, it's a ton of content uh, in this particular package. So if you need to create or recreate an office type environment, everything you need is available here. And yeah, here we go to the outdoor kind of uh, bistro attached to this office. So there is a, a ton of content in here, including like air conditioning units and satellite dishes and so on. Um, but then also, uh, I, again, I'm highly jealous of this kind of an office environment because I, I never got this where I worked. Uh, so uh, that's the first asset. That is the big office asset. Uh, we're going to look at the next one in the list is going to be the uh, storage house. So we'll open up the map on that one. And this is a storage house set by Alexander Saichov. Um, it is a kind of, again, another warehouse. It actually goes together, so you kind of got a front office, back office setup. Again, it's everything you need uh, to create this kind of environment, including this red murder room, which I don't know why. They have this red door, neon, kind of murder room to start things off. Uh, but actually, the funny thing is when you fly through this environment, see if I can find it again, because this demo level is actually gigantic. Um, there is an area where it actually kind of looks like a murder just occurred. So we got all of the stuff you need to create, uh, basically office environments. Here, let me hit the G key so we get rid of the environmental probes. Uh, go around the environment a little bit more. There we go. Uh, so everything you need to create a warehouse type environment is available here. Uh, and tell me, does this not look a little bit like this is where a murder occurred? <laughs> it even almost kind of looked like bodies were wrapped in the carpets down here. Uh, so that would explain the red door on the way in. One thing I thought, though, when I was first looking at this, so you've got a ton of stuff in here, an absolute ton of stuff that you would find in a typical warehouse. Uh, so these two assets are definitely useful. It's just a, a, you know absolute um, load of textured models ready to go. But I kind of kept reading these things. So there's all these warning signs, high-quality warning signs here. And I was sort of expecting jokes, uh, but I didn't find any, any in-jokes. If you find any in-jokes in this level, do let me know. But you're going to see there's just a level of detail on these things uh, everywhere. So if you need to create a warehouse type environment or you need to create an office type environment, uh, this month's content definitely has you set. Now to get to the next one, I need to switch projects. And now we are over here. This here is the open, uh, what was it actually called? The Open World RPG Toolkit by Monoleg. Um, it obviously is some assets here, but the main idea behind this one is actually more the systems that it controls. You see here, like you've got this sphere of influence right here. Let's see if I can actually select it. Uh, come on, there we go, come on. Uh, but basically you've got different zones and things you need to create an open world type environment. So you see the bottom left hand corner here, you've got a compass system, you've got uh, an inventory system. So you hit I, you've got inventory over there, you've got currency, uh, you've got time passing, you've got the ability to have zones. So watch here, I'm going to go into a different zone and I'm going to have experience uh, added to me. So if you're work working to create an open world type thing, so you can see a, a quest system on your map and then over here we've got inventory so we're going to interact with that and we'll add some cash to our our total and so on so if you're looking to create an open world rpg style game that is uh what this is all about and then oddly enough there's this non-animated eagle 
up here. I, I don't get what this one is for. Uh, but that is the idea behind the um, open world RPG toolkit. Uh, so if you're looking to create that style of game, this is basically implementing zone systems, uh, again, compasses, inventory, that kind of stuff that you'd need uh, to create that kind of game. Uh, and then we've got the uh, cartoon shader. Uh, so this one is, let me go get the demo lap. Uh, this one is uh, for water shaders, and we're in the water, so let's move that one out. It's a cartoony style um, water shader going on right there, so you can see it in action right there. And then over here, and then we've got frothing and bubbling going on down there. Uh, so it, it's a pretty straightforward asset uh, for creating a very specific kind of thing. Here we're going to see an ocean map instead. So you can see the different kinds of waters that you can create. Over here we've got water. Now there's a weird... Oh, the shaders haven't baked in yet. Let me let me wait for the shaders to bake in. So, All right, that proved to be a pretty stupid thing to do. I switched over Lumens, wanted ray tracing. I turned ray tracing on and it said, okay, I'm going to rebuild all of your shaders now. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to move on from the stylized water demo and go into today's permanently free item, which is this one right here. This is the um, Stylized Egypt by Alexander Ivanov. Uh, it's a very... Um, again, another project. So there's a lot of content in this month's like um, artistic content or uh, modular ready to drop into your game content. This one is uh, kind of an Egyptian uh, environment. I think we've got Anubis over here in a statue. Uh, we've got some hieroglyphs on the wall. Again, it's sort of the cross between realistic and um, you know stylized art styles. I do not know what the little doggy doors are for. Uh, definitely a question mark I have in my head. I have no idea why there are little doors in here, uh, but there are. So anyways, it's everything you need to create uh, what you see in front of you. So if you want to create um, an Egyptian or a Savannah style and you can match with the art style, the only challenge with this particular art asset is it's not going to mesh with the realistic and it's not going to mesh with the low poly. So unless you're doing a stylized art setting, uh, this one is going to be a little challenging to use, but this is permanently free. So you can use it at any time uh, whatsoever, sometime in the future. So if this meshes with the art style you are going for, um, this is available to, to use forever. Uh, definitely nice in that regard. Probably the least flexible of the assets that we have here, but that kind of concludes the list. So uh, if you want to go ahead and grab these, uh, what you do is you head on over to the Unreal Games Epic Games Launcher. Uh, go to the Marketplace. You can also do this in your browser, by the way. And what you are going to want to do is locate the free section. And it is free for the month. Now, this is actually... Oh, oh, they're updated. Okay, so it updated while I went live. So this is all of the stuff that we looked at today. Um, so you've got the big office, the open world RPG toolkit, the storage house, and then the cartoon uh, water shader, which I almost showed you today. But unfortunately, uh, Lumen settings kind of ruined that demonstration. But you get an idea of what it's all about. It's... Uh, for stylized water. It should have looked a whole lot better than it did in my demo. Uh, but again, I am still uh, currently uh, waiting on it. To, uh, I, I think I killed it, to be honest. So uh, we're not going to demonstrate that one today. Uh, but if you're interested, it is available here. So again, go to the marketplace. Free. Free for the month. Now, the one that we didn't cover is my SQL integration. That's because it's a plugin. Uh, basically, a plugin that lets you connect your Unreal Engine projects with MySQL server. So if you want to uh, store certain bits of data and you want to access to them via blueprints, uh, you can store data um, and then access your MySQL database uh, directly using uh, blueprints. Hope you understand why I didn't demonstrate that one. The good thing about this particular plugin, though, um, it supports 4.x and 5. Every asset we looked at today was in Unreal Engine 5. So... Um, that's true across the board, but it's most important when you're talking about uh, engine plugins. And then the other asset you're going to want to check out is in the permanently free collection. So again, free, permanently free. And the new one here is Stylized Egypt. Uh, and these ones, you have no limitation on time, but all of the stuff here, all the stuff we looked at uh, other than Stylized Egypt, the free for the month, you have until the first Tuesday in September to air quotes, buy it. Uh, once you have bought it, it is yours forever. Basically just add it to cart, add to cart, add to cart, check out, and you are done. So that is this month's content. Uh, we've got Big Office and Storage House Set, probably my two favorites, to be honest. Open World RPG Toolkit for things like world maps, compasses, inventory, etc. if you're making that style of game. The MySQL integration plugin, engine plugin, the cartoon water shader, which I really bungled with the demonstration. And then finally, we have the, um, the stylized Egypt uh, asset in the permanently free collection, which is all you see here to create uh, this kind of environment. Uh, so if you want to have 
uh, pyramids or um, that, and you can mesh the art style. Uh, that is in the permanently free collection. So I'm curious what you think of this month's free content. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Sorry about the screw up on the shaders for the uh, cartoon water shader. I had it all loaded in and then I, I blew it <laughs> during the presentation. So uh, that one, it, it should look a whole lot better than it did in this demo, but at least you get to see all of the content this month uh, in advance. Let me know what you think, what your favorite is. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.